why hello hello it is me sb welcome back to my channel uh today i have a little extra sewing project thing i have my pillow that i've had uncovered for years i've got my fabric that i purchased at walmart as you can see here one is one yard the other is two yards uh, these were pretty inexpensive so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna measure out my pillow um, I'm, all you're going to need for this project pretty much is basic sewing skills, basic measuring skills. Uh, as you can see here, it's about 27 and a half inches or 76 centimeters. I'm going to have to double check that. But yeah, that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out two rectangles. Um, one of them, I believe I made... 34 inches actually both of them I made 34 inches just to account for that little fold that you have in a pillow uh, this is going to be a very very basic pillow case um, and I'm sorry about you know the cat getting in the <laughs> scene all the time and the fact that you really can't see what I'm doing here basically all I'm doing right now is just trying to figure out how long I want it um, this was a very spontaneous project, let me tell you. I just kind of, you know, decided to do this because I've had that pillow sitting in my closet for, I don't know, two years because I was going to do something different with it. I think originally what I had planned on doing with it was, um, oh, here we go. That's 20 inches in width. <laughs> Sorry. That's how wide the pillow is. So it was, um... 27 and a half by 20 and I cut 21 inches in the width just to account for the seam allowance and 34 inches in the length because I wanted it to you know have that little fold you'll see it here in a minute I cut everything very crooked I didn't do any precise anything really I just kind of threw it together as you can see here folded it in right there so what I do is I take this and take it to the ironing board and get it all ironed out and get the seams set where I want them all I did here was measure 27 and a half inches sorry about the camera marked it and then folded it out to match that folded it in ironed it down blah 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 you know the usual and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the right sides together and seam it up. Pretty easy. I wind up using an overlock stitch, or at least that's what I think it is on my sewing machine, uh, just to keep the fraying to a minimum because I didn't feel like going through and sewing everything down and locking those, you know, the seams in, whatever. Like I said, very, very spontaneous. So yeah, here I am doing the settings. I put it on a length of three and the widest width and a tension of three. But yeah, it's just one of those overlocking stitches that are on there. And I just used white thread because I wasn't too concerned about it matching. And the white actually looks pretty nice on it. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, what I was originally going to use this pillow for was to make a, a pet bed. And I've made one before out of just one of those cheap pillows that you find at Walmart. And it came out pretty good. And what I did was I crocheted a cover for it and then, you know, enclosed it. Made it more round. Basically, I shaped the pillow to how I wanted it and then put the the cover the crochet cover on it it was it's pretty nice actually I still have it and Neo still uses it I actually made it for him and also made a dog bed out of one of those pillows as well but this one was a very simple one I just used an old comforter and just sewed it together and used it like that and it came out really nice but yeah as you can see here I went super duper crooked uh, whenever I was cutting, but it's no worries. I just try to go straight as possible on, on all these sides. 
and for the, that side there, all I did was folded it down and just seamed it together without going across. You'll see what I do here in a minute. But yeah, this is a super duper easy project to do. Really, really beginner friendly because it's not much skill is needed, really. So yeah, now I'm just going to trim off this very, very crooked end that I had there. And since I did the overlock stitch, uh, hopefully those seams don't fray too much. And now I'm just going to go around and sew my seams down. I was originally planning on ironing it down, but I was like, nah. Too much work. And now I'm switching back to a straight stitch. And I think I left it at a length of three just to, you know, make it look a little prettier. And yeah, easy. And I switched the needle to go to the left so that way I wouldn't have to worry too much about keeping it in line too bad or you know too much very easy I did go crooked um, like I said in my measuring but that's to be expected you can't really tell unless you're really looking at it and basically all I did was I backstitched right there where I went crooked and straightened it out you know moved my stuff around <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying but yeah, I found this a lot easier than, you know, going through, seaming it, and then sewing both ends together. I don't know why. I just, I don't like doing that. This was way easier. <laughs> Boom. Done. What? We just made a pillowcase. That's so easy. Like, it didn't take any time at all. I mean, yeah, this is sped up. It probably took me about 20 minutes to do total, maybe. But yeah, pretty easy. I really finally made a pillowcase for the pillow and it really didn't cost all that much. If I would have taken my time and measured correctly, I wouldn't have wasted so much fabric, but <laughs> it is what it is. Here's my pillowcase. Um, like I said, you could make it a lot more finished if you so choose to, you know, lock in those seams a little better. But yeah, it is complete. There's my pillow. Let's see if it fits. I know it fits. <laughs> and there it is. Yay. All right. I hope you enjoyed this very quick video of me making a pillowcase. And I hope it inspires you to make your own. It was super easy. I'm so happy that I did it. I wasn't filling it today, but I definitely am glad that I did. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Yeah. Happy crafting. Bye. Hey.